Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back. We're going to continue our look at Apollonian problem. We've done uh, point, 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 or PPP, and we've done PPL. The next thing to do is step it up a bit and add in another line, and that's what we've got here. Two lines and a point. Okay. Now, these are still fairly general uh, constructions, and that's why at the end I'm probably going to talk about the, the special case where the two lines are parallel and, and we've got one point. But in general, what we've got is, is the main setup, and that's these two lines, and they're going to cross at some point. It's very rare for two randomly chosen lines to be parallel. And then we're given this extra point here. Okay. Now, as you can see, our, our two lines, they cross, and we've got these four sections, and our point could be in any one of these sections. And uh, where the point is is going to change what we focus on. If the point's over here, we're going to focus more on this section. But uh, for, for our construction of the, the tangent circles, and yes, there will be tangent circles. There will be two of them uh, in general. Even in the, the specific case where the two lines are parallel, you'll either get none or, or two. Um, so uh, how, how do we construct our circles? Well, any circle that's tangent to two lines that intersect at a point uh, you're going to have that the center of that circle will lie on the angle bisector. And I've shown you guys in the past how to construct angle bisector, so we're not going to dwell too much on it. But uh, depending on which of these angles you choose, one of these lines will be considered the angle bisector. Remember, here at the intersection of these two lines, we do have uh, four different angles corresponding to our four different quadrants. Uh, whichever one, uh, if, uh, whichever one the uh, section that the, that the given point is in, that's going to be the angle bisector that we focus on. But as I say, any circle whose center lies on this line is going to be tangent to our two circle, or to, not to our two circles, to our two lines. Okay, any, any cent center's got to lie on this angle bisector. It has to. Okay, but how do we know which circle we want? Which circle can we construct that passes through this point? Matter of fact, how do we know that these are actually going to be tangent points? Okay, how, how can I actually construct these? I mean, I'm just picking a center and dragging it over to the line, but uh, you know, we might uh, might actually want to consider how, how does this actually get made here? So uh, suppose I had a point here, and I wanted to make this a center. Okay, how would I actually know where to draw my circle to? Well, the circle, I claim it's going to be tangent to these, uh, these lines here. And so if indeed it is tangent at a point, connecting the center up to that point will produce uh, a, a right angle, a perpendicular line at the point of tangency. So knowing that, we can just draw a perpendicular line through our hypothetical center to one of the lines, and that will get us a nice little intersection point. And it is from uh, the center to that point that we can draw our circle. Okay? And it will be tangent over here. All right, so we've got a circle, and it's tangent to the two lines, but unless we got extremely, extremely lucky, it's not passing through our other point here. What are we to do? Okay. Well, because our two lines, our two given lines intersect, uh, they uh, we can even draw the intersection. We can we can use this point here to our advantage. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw from this say, intersection point through our pink line here, or not pink line, pink point here. So we connect that up to the intersection of our two pink lines. Okay, and this line intersects with our given random arbitrary circle that just happens to be tangent to the, the two lines. Any circle here will do. Any circle, as long as it's tangent to the two lines, we just need one of these guys hanging around. And we get an intersection. We get two intersection points here. Okay. So, now, these intersection points, we're going to connect them up to the chosen center here. And what we're going to do is we're going to just sort of create a parallelogram. So we take uh, the line, connect it up 
to the center uh, from the, the tangent point, and we just make a parallel line that happens to be going through our pink point. Doesn't seem happy with that, so we'll just do that. There we go. Okay, so that gives us one line, and then we had another point of intersection with the circle and then uh, the line through our pink point. So we're going to get another parallel line. Okay, now we're going to clean this up because uh, we're getting a lot of lines here, a lot of lines. And we actually don't need these intersection points or our, cho our, our, our given starting circle. What we do need, however, are these lines that we constructed that are parallel. And they are going to intersect the angle bisector. And these are going to be the centers of the circles, the solutions to our Apollonian problem. Okay. So we'll clean things up a bit. There we go. So we just have these two points, and they're going to be our centers. And you can say, well, geez, what points do they connect to on the sides? You know, you, you could still do a perpendicular line construction, but we know that they're going to have to pass through this point, our given point. So how about we use that? And wouldn't you know it? There, it's tangent. It's going to have to be tangent to these lines, given that it's on the angle bisector. And because of the work we've done, it'll also have to pass through this point. Same thing up here. We get the big solution. But we do indeed get two solutions here. Okay. So we'll see if we can move our pink point around. And yeah, there it goes. Our solutions can move about. So in general, with uh, point line line or PLL, we get two circles for our solutions. Okay, uh, but I did mention very briefly at the start that because this is a simple case, you know, the, it's not like um, you know LCC or something like that. We can actually talk about some of the exceptions and some of the things that we can uh, do to to fix them. So you're not what what assumptions did we make here? We made the assumption that uh, there was an angle bisector, that there was an intersection of the, the two given lines. So what happens when that assumption fails? Okay, so what happens when the two lines don't intersect? So there's no angle bisector, there's no intersection point that we can connect to our given line, nothing. What do we do then? So I'll make these all pink, and we'll, we'll begin the problem anew. Now, this time, it's very important that our point lie between the two uh, perpendicular, not perpendicular, between the two parallel lines. If it's up here, then if I get a circle that happens to go through that point and uh, is tangent, so we can maneuver this guy a little bit, is, is tangent here, it's not going to reach down to get this bottom line. The top line is blocking it. And if we try and move this so the circle is tangent to the, the bottom line, well, it's going to have to intersect the top line. It's not going to, it can't be tangent to both of them. But if our given point happens to lie in between the two, then yeah, we can sort of work out a very nice and happy tangent point there. But how do we actually calculate this? And there's going to be two of them. There's one here, and then there's going to be one over here. So we either get nothing when our point is outside the, the two parallel lines, or we can get two solutions. How do we how do we get these solutions? Okay. Well, we don't have an angle bisector, but we do have a line that runs right between these two parallel lines. Okay. And uh, we can find that by just choosing a point on one of the lines, drawing the perpendicular line through it, and then that's going to get an intersection with the other line. There we go. And then uh, you can do perpendicular bisector of these two points, or just in some other way, you can draw the midpoint and then draw the, the parallel line through that. But whatever we do, we get the line running right through these two parallel lines. 
Okay, and the center of any circle going through these, or sorry, not going through these, the center of any circle that's tangent to these two lines will have to lie on this middle line here. Okay, so that's uh, similar to our angle bisector. Any any circle that's tangent to the two lines when there's an angle bisector will have to lie on the angle bisector. When you have two parallel lines, any circle that's tangent to both, the center must lie on this middle line. Okay, so now again the challenge reduces to how do I actually get such a circle and make it pass through this given point? That becomes our brand new challenge. Okay, because this point could be just about anywhere. All right. So what we're going to do is basically, since we know that the center has, uh, of any circle has to lie here, and it's going to be tangent to the two lines, we know it's going to have a very fixed radius. Okay, So we take that radius, that length, and we basically just want to draw a circle with that radius at our given point, and then the two intersections with that line will give us exactly the two centers that we need. That's the idea. That's what's going on in this special case, and that's how we, we think about it. Okay, So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, basically duplicate a length. And I, I've shown you guys how to do this with circle and straight edge constructions. Uh, in, or sorry, compass and straight edge constructions in the past. Uh, what are we going to do here? I guess I shouldn't have gotten rid of that original perpendicular line that I drew, but that's okay. So we get the length that we want here, and uh, we're going to create a parallelogram. So we're going to get a parallel line going through our given point, parallel to this. And then we're going to connect our given point up to this, uh, this middle, this point on the middle line, and draw a parallel line to this to our arbitrarily chosen point on one of the other lines. Okay, So these two have a nice intersection. We have a, a parallelogram here. But importantly, the length, this length here, is the same as this length here, which is the radius that we need. Okay, So once again, we'll clean things up just a little bit to make our, our constructions clear. But we get this circle here that has the radius that we want. We're going to get two intersection points with this circle and the middle line. And it is these two that give us the centers for our tangent circles, the solutions to our Apollonian problem. So there we go, one and two. get rid of our work here and there's our solution and we've got two they're going to be congruent circles they have the exact same diameter I already talked about that and there they go but they disappear the second our circle or our, our given point goes outside the two parallel lines okay so that's a very constrained version of the point line line problem um, yeah, there's not a whole lot else for me to say. I think in the next video we're going to do line, line, line. And uh, then the only thing that will be left after that is starting to add in circles. And I'll probably stop doing uh, talking about exceptional cases when we start introducing circles. But uh, we'll, we'll see where I go from there. I mean, this whole series might turn out to be me saying, I'm going to stop talking about exceptional cases, and then every subsequent video I still talk about exceptional cases. But they're very easy in this situation with these two lines. The constructions do get longer later on, and I'd rather devote the videos to the general constructions. But uh, we'll see how it goes. And uh, that's the, the PLL Apollonian problem. And I'll see you guys for LLL, or line, 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 which is a very well-known problem uh, in the next video. Thanks for watching.